hello friends welcome back to my channel bio tutorials in this video we will discuss about type of refractory materials this can be discussed in uh, several ways for example chemical composition of refractory or use of refractory or method of manufacture or in terms of physical shape in this video we will discuss about uh, type of refractory depending on its chemical composition and physical shape chemical composition refractories are uh, composed of either single or multi component in organic compounds with non metallic elements acid refractory the main raw materials used are uh, sio2 ZRO2 and alumina silicate they are used where slag and atmosphere are acidic they cannot be used under basic conditions typical refractories are fire clay quartz and silica basic refractory raw materials used are cao mzo dolomite and chrome magnesite basic refractories are produced from a composition of dead burnt magnesite dolomite and chrome ores basic refractory magnesite chrome combinations have good resistance to chemical action of basic slag and mechanical strength and volume stability at high temperatures magnesite carbon refractory with varying amount of carbon has excellent resistance to chemical attack by steel making slags chromite magnesite refractory used in inner lining of bof and slide walls of soaking pits basic refractory magnesite basic refractory in nature magnesite bricks cannot resist thermal soak lose strength at high temperature and are not resistant to abrasion natural refractory natural refractory is chemically stable to both acids and basic they are manufactured from al2o3 cr2o3 and carbon physical form broadly speaking refractory materials are either bricks or monolithic shaped refractories are in form of bricks of some standard dimensions these refractories are machine pressed and have uniform properties special shapes with required dimensions are hand molded and are used for particular kilns and furnaces different type are refractories are ramming refractory materials is in loose dry from with guarded particle size they are mixed with water for use wet ramming masses are used immediately on opening castable refractory materials contain binder such as aluminate cement which impart hydraulic setting properties when mixed with water these materials are installed by casting and are also known as refractory concretes mortars are finally ground refractory materials which become plastic when mixed with water these are used to fill the gap created by a deformed cell and to make wall gas tight to prevent slag penetration bricks are joined with mortar to provide a structure plastic refractories are packed in moisture proof packings and packings are open at the time of use plastic refractories have high resistance to corrosion monolithic refractories monolithic refractories are replacing conventional brick refractories in steel making and other metal extraction industries monolithic refractories are loose materials which can be used to form joint free 
lining. The main advantage of monolithic linings are as follows greater volume stability, better spelling tendency, elimination of joint compared with brick lining, can be installed in hot standby mode, transportation is easier. Acid refactory will describe in detail in next video. So friends, if you like this video, then like and share. Also don't forget to subscribe this channel and press bell icon for getting notification of my upcoming videos.